Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questions, a rhetorical question, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Alayhi sallallahu wa ta'ala abda. Is Allah enough for his life? Allah is basically saying, ain't I, ain't I enough for you? Why are you going here and there? Why are you making creations of Allah? Come to me, all I'm asking for is Qur'a Ta'at or some iman in your heart. And I will solve all your problems. If you know Allah, there is no hardship, there is no anxiety. Every single one of us here has a problem in this life. Some of us want to get married. If the last person, if that white person in front of me, I'll point them out to you. I can't see anything in the Some people want to get married. Others, the problem is unemployment. He's been searching for a job for the past two months, for the past three months. Another fa father of a family is struggling because of the bills. Too much carbon tax. This is happening. Another person is not an illness. He wants a cure. All grief, all anxiety, all problems. If you know al wakil becomes zero. If you know al malik becomes zero. All it requires from you is for you to do all what you can from the asbab, from the reasons Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created this world and then rely on Allah with confidence. The last third of the night, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls out, هَلْ مِنْ دَاعٍ فَأَسْتَجِيبُ لَكْ Every single night, every single night, seven days a week, 30 days a month, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls out when the last third remains. Does anyone want anything? Anyone making dua? Anyone seeking forgiveness? He wants me to forgive him? And all the women, except the ones whom Allah preserved, that claim they know al wakil they claim they know Allah, they claim they believe in Allah, they're all sleeping despite their problems. And then they wake up in the morning and they start chasing weak human beings, creations of Allah. Begging them for mercy, begging them for help, your auntie, your father, your mother, your neighbor, your boss. You go around chasing, chasing zero, chasing salab, chasing a mirage. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king of kings, the one who has the total solution, the ultimate solution that all logic can't find. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the answer. But because you do not know al wakil Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, as they say, yet you look at your nafs. When you don't rely on Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes you rely upon yourself. And if Allah lets you rely upon yourself with your weakness and your bad qualities, trust me, all you will see is misery in your life. The world is full of stress. The world is full of anxiety. The world is thirsty. They want to know Allah. They need to know Allah. They need to know Al-Malik. The king who said subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ Ask any Muslim brother, sister, do you believe in the Quran? Of course. What are you saying, Shaykh? Of course I believe in the Quran. Do you believe in Allah? Do you believe in the Quran? Yes, I do. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised. Al-Malik, the king, وَمَنْ أَصْلَقُ بِنَ اللَّهِ الْقِيلًا who is more truthful in his speech than Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْمِ He who relies on Allah, Allah will suffice him. Allah is enough for him. In another ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala questions, a rhetorical question, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, أَلَيْسَ اللَّهُ بِكَافِنْ عَبْدًا Isn't Allah enough for his life? Allah is basically saying, ain't I, ain't I enough for you? Why are you going here and there? Why are you making questions of Allah? Come to me, all I'm asking for is Qur'a Ta'at or some iman in your heart. And I will solve all your problems. But the son of Adam, because of our weak iman, lack of knowledge, and lack of connection with Al-Wakil, we chase the mirage and we go around searching for uh, you know, logical help, logical help, and we forget the King subhanahu wa ta'ala that runs the heavens and the earth. This is why my brothers and sisters, Prophet of Allah used to teach children. He used to teach children Iman and Deen and trust in Allah. Abdullah ibn Abbas was a young child. The Prophet of Allah, he narrates Abdullah ibn Abbas says, I was once behind the Prophet of Allah on the camel. Qala ya Prophet of Allah said, 
O young boy, inni u'alimuka kalimat, I will teach you a couple of words. Ihfadillaha ya'fadka. Safeguard your relationship with Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will look after you. Ihfadillaha tajidhu tujahak. Safeguard your relationship with Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be there for you when you need him. إذا سألت فاسأل الله. When you ask, only ask Allah. Don't ask anyone else. Don't beg of anyone else. Allah has the solutions to all our problems. If you rely on the Wakil and trust in the Wakil, Wallahi, regardless of your problem, Allah has the solution. إذا سألت فاسأل الله. When you ask, only ask of Allah. وإذا استعنت فاستعن بالله. Seek assistance only from Allah. In fact, I will say, إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. يا الله. You and only you we worship. Oh Allah, you and only you we seek assistance from. But again, they might be words of the tongue that are solid in the heart. وإذا استعنت فاستعن بالله. Seek assistance only from Allah. وأعلم أن نويا بن عباس. No young boy, less than thirty years old. وأعلم أن الأمة لو اجتمعت على أن if all the world, the heavens and the earths, jinn and ins, if everyone gathers to benefit you with anything, the smallest atom of benefit, they will be unable to accept with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has decreed for you. وَعْلَمْ أَنَّ الْأُمَّ لَوْ اجْتَمَعَ عَلَىٰ أَنْ يَضُبُوكَ بِشَيْءٍ And now if the world gathers all the efforts, all the brains, all the plotting and planning, to harm you, Wallahi, they can't accept what Allah has decreed for you. Rufa'at al-Aqlam wa jafat al-Suhaf. The pens have been lifted and the ink has dried on the pages. Everything is set, everything has been decided. Now it's only you and Allah. Rely on Allah, happiness is there. I will just end my talk with a, a warning. Because many people misunderstand tawakkul and yaqeen. And you misunderstand relying on Allah. They think relying on Allah means not work. Don't do anything. Sit at home and make dua and everything will be solved. This is not the way of deen. Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, when he migrated from Mecca to Medina, he took by the reasons. The Prophet of Allah, the angels are with him, the help of Allah is with him, he has to win trust in Allah. But yet, he took a different route than the usual route people take to Medina. This Prophet of Allah now, uh, he has no reliance on Allah. Of course not. He knows Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and he's teaching the Ummah. Reliance of Allah does not contradict taking by the means and the asbab. I do what I can and I have no stress. So he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, takes a different route. He has someone behind him covering his backs, covering the afar of his travel. And then when the infidels catch him and Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, they reach them in the bar, in the cave, Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu can see them above his head. Qala ya Rasulullah, lo anna ahadam, if one of them looks under his feet, he will see us. Qala ya Abu Bakr, oh Abu Bakr, ma ghamuka bithnayni Allah thalithun. Why are you worthy Abu Bakr? What do you think Allah will do with two people who Allah is the third? Don't worry. We did what we can do, now don't worry. This is the contentment and the strength a believer has. Those and Wakil subhanahu wa ta'ala, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to make us from those who practice of the year, let's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he's Ahmed the Madina is the Muhammad Qawla Fatamuna Hazanah, subhanahu wa ta'ala, and he's Ahmed the Madina is the Muhammad Qawla Fatamuna Hazanah, and he's Ahmed the Madina is the Muhammad Qawla Fatamuna Hazanah, and he's Ahmed the Madina is the Muhammad Qawla